So in the last couple of years, because of all the hype around AI, you know, I've really kind of embraced a lot of these AI chat assistants. I really find these tools quite useful in some aspects. One of the ones that is very popular that I quite like is Olama. Olama, it's a open source tool. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And even though the name Olama, you might think it only uses the Olama large language model, you can actually use a number of language models with the Olama tool. And to install it, it's rather easy. So all you need to do is go to the Olama website, click download, and there is this curl command that you paste in the terminal, you hit enter, and it automatically installs Olama on your Linux system. Now, if I go to the GitHub page for Olama to check out the source code, it is free and open source software. It is licensed under the MIT license. If you're curious about which language models are built into Olama, it looks like you can use uh, Llama 3.1, Phi 3, Gemma 2, Mistral, Moon Dream 2, Neural Chat, Starling, Code Llama, Llama 2, Uncensored, Lava, and Solar. I'm sure they're going to add many more in the future. So really neat little application. It is a terminal based command line application. Let me show you Olama in action. Once you have Olama installed, of course, you need to open a terminal. Let me clear the screen. So first of all, you may or may not want to go ahead and enable this with systemd. If I do a systemd status and I do Olama, I've already got this enabled and active with systemd. So you can actually manage Olama as a systemd service if you want. Uh, one thing you might want to do initially is do a Olama list. This lists the language models that you've already downloaded. Now, even though it had like a dozen different language models that you could use with Olama, because these language models are very big downloads. You would have to download some very large files for each of these language models. They're not all installed out of the box. You install the ones that you want to run. For me, I went with Llama 3 and Llama 3.1 here. But if I wanted to pull in something else, I would do a Olama pull and maybe I wanted to pull down the Mistral large language model. You know, that's how I would you know, do that. I would hit enter. It would download a bunch of files. It's going to take a few minutes to download these large language models. And then when I do Olama list, I will have Llama 3.1, Llama 3.0, and then I should have Mistral appear in the list. Now, if you want to get rid of any of these large language models, because again, they do take up a lot of space, you can always remove them with RM. So Olama remove, and then, you know, assuming I had Mistral here, I could remove that Mistral large language model. To run one of these language models, you would do Olama run. And in this case, I'm gonna do Llama 3.1. And it's taking a second to load. And eventually I get a prompt. And from here, I can ask it any question I want. For example, what was the code name for the very first version of Ubuntu? And you can see it actually answered that correctly. It was released in 2004. It was Warty Warthog. Now, I'm not going to sit here and ask Olama a bunch of questions. You guys know how these chat assistants work. I just wanted to quickly show you how to install Olama using that curl command and then get your favorite large language models installed. And then, you know, just ask all the questions you want to get out of the prompt here uh, of the chat assistant prompt. There's two ways to do this. You can do control D to kill the prompt, or you can type slash buy and it will exit out of the Olama prompt. Now, one neat thing you can do is you can actually create a model file for these uh, Olama language models. And what this is, is basically a way for you to customize the prompt. You can basically tell Olama you know, how it should respond to you. Like, should it respond to you as if it's a certain character in a movie or a video game. For example, I can actually copy and paste this into a model file, and then I can basically make Olama pretend like it's Mario from the Super Mario Brothers video games. Let me show you how this works. So I'm gonna copy that, I'm gonna go back to my terminal, and I'm gonna create a model file. I'm gonna use a capital M model file. And then I have actually already copied and pasted this uh, and created this file before, so there's nothing for me to do. So I'm gonna write and quit that. And once you have that model file created, you need to feed that into Olama. So you need to do Olama create, and I'm gonna create Mario. I'm gonna call it Mario, and then dash F, and then the path to the model file. 
And when I do that, you know, it just takes a quick second to do that. And from now on, when I do Olama list, I have uh, Llama 3, Llama 3.1, and then I have this language model called Mario. And what Mario is, it is essentially Llama 3.1, but it is going to always respond to me as if it's Mario from the Super Mario Brothers game. So, you know, going back to the model file, since I didn't explain what I was doing in the model file, it's just telling Olama to pretend to be Mario. So let me do Olama run Mario. And now I'm going to say hi. And it's a me, Mario. Nice to meet you. I'm here to help with whatever. <laughs> it's just, you know, kind of a silly kind of prompt. I would never actually want to be talked to in this manner from my chat assistant. But that is kind of cool. That is there. If I do a control D, I will exit out of the Olama prompt. Now, because Olama has become such a very popular program, probably millions of people around the world are using it every day on Windows, Mac, Linux. You know, everybody uses these chat assistants nowadays. And Olama is one of the more popular ones because it's so popular you know there are a ton of different GUI front ends to it because let's be honest not everyone is a nerd and wants to use a command line utility right Olama is a command line utility but a lot of people want a GUI front end they want a graphical program that they can interact with so how do you do that well all the GUI front ends do require Olama to be installed, so you still need to install the Olama command line application, just like we did earlier with that curl command. But then you can also go grab a GUI front end to it. One of the more popular ones is Page Assist, which is a browser plugin. Page Assist, it's a web UI for local AI models. And I've already gone to the Chrome extension store, and I have added Page Assist to my Brave browser. And from here, I can go and click on Page Assist. And I get this page here and you can see I get my language models. If I click on it, there is Mario, Llama 3.1 and Llama 3. I'll choose Llama 3.1 and then I can ask it a question like list all mammals by their common names alphabetically. Now this is going to be a very large list. I got to make sure I spelled alphabetically correctly. And let me hit enter, and this is going to be a very lengthy list because you can see this includes a uh, list of over 5,000 species of mammals, and it's going alphabetically by common name. Very cool. I could sit here and wait on this, but I can go down here and click this button here, stop streaming, and go ahead and kill that from uh, finishing the answer. But you can see it's actually rather quick. One thing about Olama, it does use your GPU, so you do need a, you know, a reasonably modern GPU. If for whatever reason you didn't have a, a GPU that it could use, uh, Olama can use your CPU, but it's slow. It's very slow. It's, it's really optimized for machines that actually have a pretty recent AMD card card or a pretty recent NVIDIA card. So, you know, something at least within I, the last five years or so, you should be good on. So there you have it. A very quick look at Olama. Olama, again, allows you to install, you know, a dozen different large language models to play with for these chat assistants. You can use it as a terminal application. Obviously, as a command line application, you could probably do some simple scripting with Olama as well. If you're a scripting nerd, if you're not a nerd, you want something, you know, that's got a graphic front end just install the page assistant uh, browser plugin here page assist it is the web UI for Olama it's just your graphical front end and from there you can select between all the various large language models that you have installed now before I go I need to thank a few special people I need to thank the producers of this show Matt James Steve armor dragon Darloff, Dayless, GDR George Lee Matthew Methos Arian Paul Peace Arch and Fedora Realities for Less Red Profit Roll and Soul Astry 10 when Roar Gentoo and Ubuntu and Willie these guys my highest tier patrons over on Patreon without these guys. This quick look at Olama and Page Assist would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now. These are all my supporters over on Patreon because I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like my work and want to see more videos about great free and open source software like Olama, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace, guys.